honest. <laughs> Have you been on Australian TV? On and off within about 30 seconds is what I said. Yeah. Um, I, I went on this um, Australian show to uh, talk about this movie I'd done. And I'd never met the guy before, you know, the interviewer guy. And apparently he was like the Parkinson of Australia. And I went on and he went, ladies and gentlemen, it's Kinney Everett. <laughs> and I went on and he had a wig, a very noticeable wig. You know, it sort of sat there like a dead rat, <laughs> slowly revolving. <laughs> I, went on and I went to shake hands with him and... It was screaming, I am a wig! <laughs> and then he went on to say, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, he took an instant dislike to me for some odd reason. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, ladies and gentlemen, here's an excerpt from Kenny's uh, film thing. And they showed a clip, not of the film, but of the TV show. And it, Stop everything. Wrong clip. Goof. You didn't rehearse, did you, naughty boy? And he suddenly hated me like a hundred million percent and went, ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Everett. <laughs> And I was off within seconds. It was fabulous. I went back to the green room to have a drink of several huge whiskies. And I heard him on the intercom saying, That bastard! He's finished in the business! <laughs> so the next day I, I, I took some money and I went and bought him a, a, a small lacquer box <laughs> to keep his talent in. Do you ever get as stressed as those guys in the commercial break? You're stressed. Oh person? yeah, I've never been not jittery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was born going what, what, <laughs> what. <laughs> but ta da, magic handbag. There are toys, you know, for stress. You got one there? Yes, I have. Ta da! You know what this is? <laughs> this is the. Uh, if you're stressed, you just pull your traffic warden out and you go. <laughs> <laughs> or there's this thing, if you're really feeling annoyed, isn't that nasty? Anyway, it's, it's, it's a bug of sorts, and they, you hit this hammer with it, and when you're really annoyed, you go... <laughs> Is it turned on? <laughs> <laughs> This is a thing for if you're in a restaurant. This is nothing to do with stress, but it's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing if you're a sloppy eater, if you're a yutz. What do they call a klutz? Yeah, you yeah, drop you food all over the front. You clip this on, it's like a pen, it's got a little clip thing. You clip it on your thing and you go... <laughs> <laughs> when you finish dropping stuff all over your thing, you go... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh, there's these things, the final word it's called. I just thought I'd bring these on because they're fab. They're nothing to do with losing weight or anything. The final word, it's how to insult people uh, without actually speaking so that they can't punch you. They punch this. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Drop dead. Drop dead. You're a dope. You're a dope. Stupid jerk. Well, You're an idiot. Drop dead. Drop dead. Drop dead. <laughs> well, there's the one? naughty version. Have them arguing with each other. So you don't, you never relax, huh? Uh, no, no, because when you work in television, I mean, if you relax, you're finished, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You can't go on in front of 15 million people and go. What, 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 what keeps you all wound up? Is it fear of death? Fear of what? Oh, no, I'm not afraid of death. I'm not afraid of death, because I think death must be the ultimate relaxation. There was a thing on radio... <laughs> <laughs> this is true! There was a thing on Radio 4 the other day that said the only time your brain ever relaxes is not if you're sitting around and you haven't got anything to do, because your brain is racing thinking, oh, my God, I'm not doing it, I'm not earning anything. Oh. It's when you are asleep. That's the nearest you ever get to completely relaxing, and death must be one step beyond that. I mean, you know, it must actually be... Terribly relaxing. <laughs> <laughs>
Mind well, you, oh, I don't know. Well, the Buddhists, the Buddhists say that you, know, you don't stay there long, you come back again. You get oh, God, shot. what a nightmare. Can you imagine getting to heaven and he goes, next one. <laughs> Straight into a fresh life. Oh, no, new people to meet. Oh. <laughs>